Um, first on the agenda, approval of the minutes from January 15th. Second, first, I make a motion. Second. Okay. I, I, I approve. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Approved unanimously. Um, so the MPPF, uh, I know that we were, you know, putting that on the back burner, but I just wanted to follow up about the, um, the slate roof situation. So they said that if, if we were to replace it with a metal roof for whatever reason, um, and then we get funding from them, then it won't be a problem. If but we, we have can, to do it first. We would have to do it first. Yeah. yeah that's um, what I figured. So they put a metal roof on with with their money so just wanted to follow up on that all right um and then he will yeah the ff is only a hundred thousand bucks yes that's right so there's plenty that's of other right. things that's right yeah yeah and, and it has to be matched 50 percent right, right. that will be yeah we hope we can get that from the cpa right and then he also said which i thought was interesting is um he, to to? um i can't remember his name the guy that we always talk to no, I've talked to like three different people. Oh, okay. It's the always been. Head to... Never mind. I can yeah. figure that. Um, what did he say? He said um, that he would suggest that the town try to find um, someone to repair or replace the slate roof in kind. It's not possible. No, no. I'm interested in doing that. So we don't have to. Pay. I don't know what that means. First, on the third time. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just an idea. Um, what was he thinking of? That's weird. I don't know. People like to donate their time sometimes. Oof. I don't know. We could try to figure out something in exchange to, you know, get an article about how wonderful this company is that they replaced the roof with <laughs> tree. Here's the contact information for the salesperson. I mean, yeah. just an idea. Um, okay. So preservation restriction. So um, I contacted Michael Steinitz, um, who is the uh, Deputy State Historic Preservation Officer at the Massachusetts Historical Commission, um, who Denise worked with on the North Hadley Hall um, preservation restriction. Um, I think he's going to, going to be really helpful if we end up pursuing something like this. Um, <clears throat> he said, I'm just going to read this. If the town wishes to place preservation restrictions on the property while it retains ownership, it will need to convey the preservation restrictions to an entity qualified under the act, a qualified charitable corporation or trust, or a governmental body that is not the town that will hold, administer, and enforce the restrictions. The town would then need to seek prior review and approval for activities as specified in terms of the preservation restrictions. The restrictions would protect the exterior envelope of the building and its setting on the property and may also include interior features as specified. Um, and then additionally, we would need a signature approval from the Massachusetts Historical Commission. Um, and we would need prior approval from the town meeting to um, proceed. Oh, yeah. Is that what was done up in the school in Northern? I'm not sure. Well, um, the town did not retain ownership. The town, yeah, that's right. The town, um, didn't, the town doesn't own that. Yeah, but. The idea was to sell it. Apparently. <laughs> but didn't the Historical Commission do that before it was sold? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So I can. Oh, so it's different if you keep ownership of it. Keep ownership. You can't be can't keep tabs sense. on yourself. You have to have an outside. Yeah, I thought the historical commission was a hold of the uh, restriction for the North Hadley Hall. That's what I thought. It's. Yeah, I think it you're right. Could be That's answered, right. It could be the it mass. Is. It is. But I think that. Oh, the gotcha. Of, as the as the other entity, the historical commission, I think, can hold it. <clears throat> I don't see why they couldn't. Yeah. Do it for here. Yeah. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah. When we come to it. Well, again, we better do the roof first. Oh, we got to get some money first. For well, the restrictions, I mean, okay. exterior. Yeah, sure, sure. <clears throat> okay. Moving on. Just a second. Yeah. And I can send you this. Oh, okay, yeah, good. good. Thank you. Yeah. 
All right. Um, so prepping for the CPA meeting. Um, so Dan and I are going to be doing both. We'll be joining both of those meetings on the 13th and the 27th. Great. Um, any pointers or anything that are there any pointers or any ideas of, you know, things that we should um, prepare in advance of the meeting? Um, Dan suggested that we could reach out to Mary Fair um, to see if she needs anything from us. Um, when Dan and Mary uh, met up um, at Russell School, um, she said that she might be interested in having um, the committee join, uh, take a tour of the school oh. um, at some point. So we can offer that to schedule something like that. Um, anything else? At least it won't be 100 degrees. Uh, yeah. Like last time. <laughs> um, you know, well, you're going to talk about the show, right? Right. Leave up like yeah, that. yeah. So we sent all that information out. Yeah, right. Yeah. But I mean, in way you speak, you, they have that stuff. But then mm -hmm. the last one, do a presentation. So we'll say who you are and say uh, what we're up to. And we did the survey and then, and, you know, we read in the forum. Yeah. And we, um, um, you know, our conclusion is that we need to proceed with stabilization and the stabilization yeah. involves that, 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 that. And that's based on, you know, the course on Dan can. Talk about that. So, but I mean, I would not go into the, into the real one uh, because they only have so much time. To, yeah. So, well, they, they have ask, all the documents. Yeah, right. If they ask a question, you can answer it um, and try to sum up. Now, how do they do that? You send it to Mayor, the mayor, and, mayor she'll and she'll make copies and distribute it. It's all going to be um, via Zoom. So, everyone will just have the information electronically. Oh. Yeah. But she needs a cop. They need a copy at Town Hall. So, I'll drop that. Sure. But Okay. CPA meets on Zoom. <laughs> I didn't. I was. <clears throat> right, okay. Pre COVID versus post COVID. I guess. Um, what else was he going to say? They'll probably, they'll probably ask about uh, what's the building going to be used for. Mm -hmm. And that'll always be a point of contention that was actually came with the NBC, you know. What, what, yeah, we don't really we don't know what the building is. Right, right. Not, but, yeah. these are these efforts certainly aren't about what it's going to be used for. It's about the building itself, and we yeah. if we want to have that choice, we got to do something. Yeah. Well, I mean, somebody might say, "Well, why should we invest money in the building if we don't know what's going to happen to it?" Yeah, yeah. well, there's yeah. plenty of answers yeah. for that. There's that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's an uncertainty. Yeah. Well, yeah. the most important thing, you know, would be the 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 majority of the people in the survey said so. Well, right. The people who are going to pay the bill, and and if if we don't, I mean, the building will uh, preserving the building. We'll find you know, there are other uses that can be made for it, and there are other uh, other uh, avenues that. Uh, but we be hard pressed to pursue those with any chance of success if the building is not stabilized. Right. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you're going to be on Zoom. Do you remember when Dave? So I was the Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Somebody, how? Somebody how Yes, yeah, I get the internet. You should probably call a lot. I think I have it, so I can send it to you. Sure. Yeah. If that's if that's a legitimate. Yeah. yeah. Anybody a with list. anybody with serious bucks um, is going to be list. interested in in uh, any center of any town. Right. If yes. they see that a town is faltering and not keeping up, you know, their real estate, they're going to swoop in and, and grab it. And it's it's not their fault that the town can't manage their real estate. They're just going to capitalize on the town's mistake. That'd be such a shame. But to the extent that there are actually live persons, sure. uh, Barry Roberts, and he he was he did express interest in yeah. But if there's somebody else, we could you know that that's a, a point in preserving the building because there is interest sure in that in using that building yeah. at some point. Yeah, as it stands, it's just for town use. Also, that would be the that would be what most people want. I think the important things to point out would be that, uh, you know, especially if we can get the CPA committee to actually tour the building, is to point out how strong the building is and how, how strong it was intended to be. And it, it's very solid. The fact that it has exterior issues are to be expected. Yeah. And it's time to put that kind of money into it to save it. And it's going to be a, a really, a, a 
a hard fight to knock that thing over. It's a really strong. Yes, but it, might, it might be. Uh, I think it might have some value to reemphasize a little bit of saying this over the long fact that when they built that building, you know, over hundred years ago, uh, it was the highest, more the highest um, quality materials and the and the highest uh, workmanship. Right. Okay? And it was a point of pride for the town to put that building up. It was yeah, that's a really the good point. Of pride yeah. in the town, and it was a gift to future generations. And that's Absolutely. that is what we are trying to preserve. Absolutely. And you could not replace a building like that. Um, no, not at all. Well, a building to that. I mean, this building that we're sitting in is is the it's closest replaced. thing to to that quality. It's you know, it's masonry, steel, yeah. and you know. If this had a slave roof on it, yep, it'd be be a hundred year building, but it doesn't, you know, and that one will probably still last longer. Right, that's right. That's that when this building goes, that building will still be there. Uh -huh. unless, <laughs> unless, unless the elements get right, there. exactly. Yeah. But this is built on a slab. And the other one has a full basement, so that really helps, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, not quality. necessarily. Yes. That building was built before modern building codes. Yeah. And there were many things about uh the the building code that uh, make this building more seismic. Yeah, you know, if there's I a see. seismic event. Yeah, this is a big difference. Between, that's a big difference between this building, that building. This not that we have. This one could withstand the earthquake. Yeah, that that one doesn't. You know, doesn't have that. If you if you reinforce it and you yeah. you know um, you know you redo all the pointing and whatnot, it'll probably survive a you know decent sized shake. But you know, the fact is, it's not. Well, we're going to have to worry space. about. Uh, Everybody, 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 has everybody has to worry about that. But this, no, the fact I mean, is, this is, this in is the addition most... to the steps and an elevator mm -hmm. and uh, and a bathroom, a kind of get bathroom. Mm -hmm. Is it that far off the code? No, there's there is what's there known as the ex the existing yeah building code. It's older. Yeah, it's you know it's a different it's a different building code specifically meant for buildings of this age. That's reinforced, right. Reinforced yeah, again. So when yeah. it's, it's the IEBC International Existing Building yeah. Code, and that's what that's the code you would do any renovations. Do it, so you're going by that code, and there would there are certain things you could not do with that building because of the code. So certain right. things, you, know, you can't have a library because of loading. Oh, and when we looked at that, you know. Oh, instead of this. And I don't think you could have an assembly. I have another question. You can't have like a big hundred people in there. On one. You, no, keep no. Yeah. You, you, you know, when I did talk to a uh, fire chief, he you know, said, yeah, we should definitely put, you know, if the building is safe, definitely drag a sprinkler line. You have to cut up the road and put a bigger water pipe in there so you mm -hmm. can have a sprinkler system, but it's definitely worth that. Yeah. Okay. And so that's another thing. But I wanted to ask about the chimney because you've often said that the chimney has to come down. Isn't that important for a heating system? No, no, no. not the same. Anymore. It's got to be electric. You notice this the building does not have a chimney. The senior center does not have a chimney. Uh -huh. The North the, Hadley the fire stations, new, new buildings don't have chimneys. They have vents or they, uh, you know. And they're all, are all they all electric, electric heat? Yeah. So I chimneys see. are passe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they, they look nice. Well, the, the thing is, the, the chimney at, chimney in that building in particular is a structural element. So you, you can only take it down to yeah, the Yeah, you wouldn't the take the whole thing. Just the, and as soon as you get below the roof line, that's when you stop your demolition. Right. Because, in fact, the chimney is a structural element of the rest of the building. You can't take it down. You can remove it from the top of the building so it's not a big hole in the roof anymore. But it doesn't have to function as a chimney. It doesn't have to function as a ventilation. <clears throat> okay. Got it. Sorry about that. No, it's interesting. Um, anything else about CPA? No, you did such a good job preparing those yeah. documents. I did go through a bunch of the CPA numbers. As you know, there this stuff is right on their front page. If you open up their their page in the Hadley's website, and sort of tallied up how much money, uh, in you know, including. Money that's been not spent has been spent on cemeteries is three hundred seventy thousand dollars cemeteries yeah. since CPA was and nearly a half a million dollars has gone into the Goodwin okay. since CPA was was adopted in this town. The Hockenheim Schoolhouse forty four thousand five hundred. You talking about historic, right? Yeah, historic property. 
The start. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm not talking open space. You know, I could have. You could you could summarize how how much they spent on uh, you know. Uh, right, right, right. The high school playing field. Yeah, APR land and stuff like that, but that's not relative to what we're talking. We're talking yeah. about historic preservation and stuff. I, just, I can't. I can imagine how could, how could you spend forty four thousand dollars on on the schoolhouse in Hawkins? But apparently they did. Somebody got that money because it, it didn't come back. Right. It wasn't returned. It was that was a small little building. That they, you know, they restored it. They restored it. I mean, it's so small. Forty four thousand is not that much for you. So the three point of brick, I guess. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Maybe they didn't need to do the. Roof. By the way, that was that was the Hockenheim Village Association, that, which that applied for money. That yes, yeah, applied for money and and. and uh, um, advocated for the money. Right. And right. Those are those are good things, in my opinion. Those are good uh -huh. things to spend money on. I mean, cemeteries at three hundred seventy thousand. Are we going to need to spend more in the future? Yes, uh, probably not too much. No, in the near future. We, this was a three-year plan to get the cemetery gravestones back up and, and fix one and replace one fence. The fence is the most expensive one. Yeah, mm -hmm. turns out. Um, but um, it was a three-year plan to do all the cemeteries, which haven't been done for quite a few years, 20 or 30 years, some of them never. Um, and uh, I mean, I'm the cemetery committee chairman still, you know, it was my idea. Yeah, I think those and, are great projects. It wasn't like, it's like, that's it. You know, once we're done with that, you might fix a few, uh, a few things here and there. But, uh, and the reason I, I wanted to do it is because we hadn't done it and because the money was there. Yeah. They hadn't spent, other than Goodwin, and maybe the Hockenheim Schoolhouse. I'm trying to think of what else the, the town has spent CPA money on historic projects over the years for. Not much. Yeah, the the church steeples. No, stuff. that's that's relatively new. That's relatively new. that came up in the last couple of years. Oh, the North Hadley one. Yeah, yeah, that's about four or five years old. I was on. But that's that. like what else you know have we done? Um, and we have. You know, that was like fifteen. One third, one third of the money is supposed to be designated for. Historic, so you know. How, how, what, how much was it for the um, the cemeteries? It's about three hundred grand that we spent in the last five years. Three three hundred seventy thousand over the past what's five, five, years, five years. Five years. So and CPA was adopted in oh five. What year? No, mm, sometime two thousand four. Two thousand four. Well, this as far as their records go back. Okay. So that is, oh, if that includes all CPA money for cemeteries, that probably includes the most added fence. Because that's <laughs> that was uh, that was done with CPA money. Well, I, was, I thought it was an enormous amount, to tell you the truth. I thought well, it was more than one that. thing is for sure is that the people who built the Russell School were buried in those cemeteries. They'd be rolling over <laughs> in their graves if they knew that the building was in that shape with their gravestones excellent condition. Well, that's a good point. <laughs> Um, okay, moving on. I yeah. Have, was, in, was there anything more that you found on those papers? No, that's just this is all in there. Kind of background of historical. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think the, I, I think, think the CPA has done a wonderful job. Yeah, I don't think you're going to have to. I think you're going to have to convince the CPA that that's a eligible project. I, I correct. I agree. Or a worthy project. Right. The main yeah. argument for them would be it's a lot of money. Can we? Uh, is the CPA, does the CPA money, the money, the P bank, the CPA, both including the money that's just sitting there and the money that they could bond. Yeah, or you know, borrow. Yeah. Uh, and we'll borrow. Yeah. Uh, how much is that? And does that, uh, is that unreasonably in their eyes? In their, their I think, I think it's that's what we yeah. can do uh, our flexibility to do other projects. Mm. That's up to them. We can't argue the case with them. I and I think the other concern of theirs may be. We put a bunch of CPA money into these different buildings, and they haven't been, and they haven't been done. Yeah, but that's and, not our fault. Right. I mean, I think that this committee might do a better job at, at uh, you know, and actually money. doing it. Right. And and here's the thing, you know, the, the CPA um, the safety valve for them is the money doesn't get lost; it right. gets returned. Yeah, it gets returned, so they don't lose it. Right. Uh, but, but it's frustrating. It's frustrating for them, for those off, the other people involved, is to is to spend the time and energy and advocate for these things and get the money approved by the town meeting. Right. Yeah. And then see see no progress. That's yeah. a lot. It is irritating. Yeah. What well, about that lake in North Hadley? 
Well, they like doing more. Yeah, didn't that get on E2? Did they get my other dam? They got a, no, they got a. That's what that was. That was the yeah. Uh, they got a grant for yeah. the dam. Yeah, right. That's right. Grant. Yeah, I think there was only 20000 bucks for okay. CPA money, and that was for water quality testing, I believe. Okay. I, I'm not positive about that. I wish somebody would dredge it. Yeah, I was just thinking about the dredging. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you'd get, you'd get CPA money for that, although you could probably get some other money for it. Yeah, some historical something up there. Or environmental. Environmental. Get GE to dredge it. For the Houstonic River. <laughs> that's, that's a can of worms you don't want to Not okay. All right. New business? Anything? The, only thing, I, the only thing I can think of <laughs> is that maybe, and I haven't done any of this research yet, um, the um, the USGS marker that's in the windowsill. Oh, yeah. Um, I would like to know the you know what the USGS what the you know, what's the protocol on if we demolish it. Well, I, you know that's that's one thing. What what is their protocol? What what are their standards? What did they expect when they put that marker there? What year was it put there? I'm sure there's a picture of the the marker itself. I'm not sure if the date is. I can't. Can we find out when exactly that date mm -hmm. is? And you know but, what is their expectancy of a marker like that? You know, do they need to use that if we take the if the building were to go away? Does, the, does that marker need to stay in place? Right, they might be closer, but you know, Randy might not be interested in that as a surveyor. Yeah, he, he may. But I'd I'd want to go straight to USGS and find out what the parameters are for their the maintenance of that particular. Uh, Where is this? Out on the corner. It's on the building itself. It's on the windowsill, the basement window. That's good one. Of the Russell School. Russell School. Oh, oh. I can tell oh, you that. I've been using it at Battle Nine, serving and stuff. I mean, it's hard. It's hard to imagine that it it hasn't settled. I'm sure it's settled a little bit. I'm sure somebody keeps track of that, but maybe not. I mean, I, I, I maybe mean, completely. Knowing the government, I would say not. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh, you know, one other thing just, just occurred to me. Like, I should sure. talk to the Mohawk. It's like in the cement. The guy from Mohawk. Oh, oh. For the granite. Sure. Right? Uh, I think. Uh, 1930. Somebody's talking about Courtney said today. that one of the replies from a survey, and the survey reply was from a fellow from Old Mohawk. No, sure. Oh, it was the uh, Lister. Who? The Lister that I, um, okay. the question that I sent out about the ground lease. Oh, um, got a response from Old Mohawk? Old Mohawk, yeah. Gary Ward, I believe was his name. I, I don't remember who the guy was who dealt with when the, he did the report. I do. I recognize that. Name. God. When he says, well, let me that's know something said that he said that those numbers Oh, no. Were not Gary Ward. Ward Hamilton. Ward, Ward Hamilton. Hamilton. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So what do you have to say? Um. Well, he was the one who said that... Um, the $16 million quote seems a little oh, questionable. I thought... I thought um, I thought uh, Dan heard that, but it was you. Yeah, I was. I was. Okay, uh, well, that's something you would maybe float before CPA if they start talking about the money. Well, we, this is what the yeah. this is what our consultant said, and this is why we're asking for it. But it's possible that it might be yeah. high, according to this expert who had it, who did, who did one of the reports when did the original, yeah. the original sure, report, right? right. right. Who and, and, and in my opinion, the most impressive, most, the most knowledgeable, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he said. Initially, we did the conditions assessment for the rest of school about 10 years ago. Glad to discuss and offer thoughts. Let me know. Yeah. And I would say, well, say to the CPA, if, they, if they're raising any issues about, you know, well, how good are these numbers? And, uh, you know, it hasn't been updated since 2019, uh, blah, 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 blah. So, and I think we, we've said this. If we get one of the uses of the money, the 1.2 million, is not just to spend it on doing the work, it's to hire somebody to oversee and coordinate mm -hmm. all this. Somebody like this Ward Hamilton, mm -hmm. who's an expert in, in old buildings, who would be the, gen the general contractor, the OPM, whatever term you want to use. Okay. We, would, we do intend to do that. We, if we had it, we would, we would get somebody like that involved. We would ask the town, put out a contract for a bid for the room, put out a bid for the grant. It would have to be a coordinated Right, and that's that's Gary Berg's 
uh, biggest concern. And, right, absolutely. That was one of the concerns. Yeah, the, I mean, and it, yeah. it's, you know, he's, it's, he's absolutely right. Warren. He's absolutely right. And, and, the, and the answer he, to that is he used the money. Yeah, to he, hire somebody I don't think he understood reasons. the fact that, yeah. you know, those, the, the quotes for the operations that we're requesting yeah. include the, the soft, the, the money for planning of all that. And right. it wouldn't, it wouldn't be put together without plan for right. further restoration, <laughs> continued maintenance and restoration. Prioritizing the land. Was, this guy, was this guy on the building committee? Yeah. And he Gary. Did, I don't know. Gary Bird, yeah. Okay. And did he vote no? Then? He's he's he won one voted no. Yeah. Because he was concerned about the coordination. Yeah. The, yeah. He wants to see a plan. And I, you know, well, I, he's I, absolutely I know right. He's, he is right. He's, you know, yeah. he's our building guy and he's Way he's, too, stop. <laughs> he's way too stretched right. to have to think about this. Oh, yeah. right. And he really doesn't need something else. I mean, now that he's got these new buildings up, he's got to figure out how to maintain them. Right? Yeah. And right. it's a great, right. you know, it's you a, need more staff. He needs was, more staff. One of the things that the MBC, that, that's our committee, the NBC committee did vote to approve was a request to the town, the town meeting, to look at it for $100,000 to maintain these buildings. I mean, that's an annual thousand dollars. Whoa. Okay. That's an that's, that's probably low. No, I think it was two great. Yeah. Yeah. But at least it's something because we there's nothing dedicated right now for how many payments? However what many we two? have. Um, there's, there's more now that we built three. Yeah. We have <laughs> three, three new ones. We have one oh one and one is five. What anything else? Oh, yeah, the public safety conference. Six. And it was Russell, but we don't do anything with Russell. But, Basically six buildings. Oh, DPW, another one. Yeah. Yeah. So there's plenty of buildings. Yeah. That, that, and they do have money to do things. It's just, yeah, there's it's a budget, budget, but it's There's budget, budget, but it's kind of just all over the place. And it's not really thought out. Um, and coordinated, yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> so anyway, that's one of the things they understand. That's like incredible. Say. Well, you know, the... That kind of money would go a long way to uh, preserve the brand new buildings that we have, as well as do projects like the the town hall paint job that mm -hmm. you know we're having such an issue because there's no it's, it's not a big enough job to require an OPM, so it's getting lost. The paperwork's getting lost. The bid specs are getting lost. It's Everything's terrible. Nobody's doing anything. Nobody knows how to keep. And track. CPA is not going to fund it. That happened during my time. Yeah, well, they gave the money to, to so they get the back. job done. They want it back because it's not done. But I don't know. Okay. Yeah. That's all the new business. Oh, well, the other thing I, th I thought of something I should was oh, the cost of demolition. Because that'll probably come up, you know, if, yeah. if we don't do this, how much is it going to cost to demolish it? Which is kind of either or, it seems. Yeah, I mean the survey you have, said, we said seven hundred thousand. Yeah, we threw out a number out there, which yeah. I think I think is pretty solved. But um, you do? Yep. Cost it cost uh, four hundred thousand to demolish the hooker. Okay, which was like you could blow it and it not fall down. They literally hit it with a they hit it with a um, an excavator, yeah. and it basically fell down. Okay, you would need a, a Sherman tank to knock that building down. Um, so it might be more expensive. Uh, it definitely be more expensive. There's more mass to it, um, and then uh, we don't know if there's any hazardous material. We don't think there's a lot. Well, we know that that building is built on top of one that burnt down, so you know this. Oh, so, so underneath like the basement. Yeah. So they, when they were when they took the hooker apart, they found a building buried under there. Yeah, well, they found <laughs> they found a, they found part of a building, and it was probably the Kellogg building, the one that was built in 1710. Uh, but there was an oil tank also that they had to get out. You know, there's always something. You always find yes, something. Yes, that's yeah. right. You know, so there'll be an oil tank. Right. 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 Well, buildings, they, you know, mm -hmm. uh, there are always some stuff. And so I really would it. say 700. I'd put it up. Uh, we this is no, we maybe don't less be, than a million. We don't want to be accused of being, you know, just uh, yeah. I, you know, that's not really our. Yeah, but you're going to get asked that. Oh, sure. Yeah. I'm I'm sure. But the you know the fact of the matter is, you know, you put it. You put a million or two into that building, and it's going to last another seventy-five to hundred years without thinking about it. It's just going to last. And so, demolishing right, right, right. it would I mean, cost us as much, is what I'm saying. Yeah, the, the yeah, and the seven hundred thousand dollars. There's there's no there's no state funds or federal funds or CPA funds for demolishing oh, historic buildings. Really? 
Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so for the hooker, then it tossed the town that much. No, it, 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 it was in the budget. Hands. This is a budget. It's in the budget. Budgeted the demolition. Well, I mean, actually, well, I mean, the town paid for half of it. It, it was a seven. It was a seven point eight million dollar building, and three point something was state funds, and the rest was the town. Right. So the town did pay. Some. Oh, so that okay. I mean, we're still paying for. It. Yeah, we'll be yeah. paying for the paying next for twenty for years. Next fifteen years. Fifteen years. Yeah. And is that which is, which is nothing? In it. Actually, it's, we'll be gone until we know it. Could be oh, bad. Yeah. yeah. And it really didn't affect the tax rate that much, actually. Our tax rate's still the lowest. Yeah, did you see? Well, we built three new buildings. That's the other thing. Yeah, it's a low tax rate, but you get what you pay for. Yeah. And in the case exactly. of the Russell School, we're not even getting that. Exactly. We really need to pay attention to our most, you know, most valuable thing on the planet is the real, you know, the, the real estate. Yeah. Right. Prime real estate right there. Did you guys see that article in the paper today about taxes in Amherst versus Hadley? No. Uh, it, it's like this. It, no, but this is the rate of inflation. This is Hadley. This is Amherst. <laughs> yeah, but they, they're buying services that they want. I mean, they're paying for it. And they're paying for it. Tell me about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's that is it. Am I entertain a motion? Are we done? Yeah. Motion Are we done? Uh, March 6th for the next meeting. March Sounds 6th. good. Yeah, I won't. Okay. Be All right. Motion to adjourn. Okay. Good luck with the CPL. You guys. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. We'll, Second. Um, and of course, they won't decide till they won't decide till I, I think uh, the second meeting, right? So this first one is on the 13th. Right. Exactly. First question. Monday. Yeah. And then it's the 27th, I think. Yep. Okay. So that will be the group. And I won't be here for that. That's meeting. when they vote. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I'm up on the you know. But you can see. tell by the first meeting but, how it's yeah. going to go. Yeah. But they'll, they'll decide then when they're going to approve it. Yeah. Out. I'll know. Um, all in favor to close the meeting. <clears throat> okay. All right.